All right, structure free learning back with the uh, um, with the rest of this acceleration analysis example problem, solving it out, helping you do algebra. All right, so here. In the last two examples, we found that the angular velocity is 5 radians per second using the instantaneous center of rotation. You could have also used a relative velocity analysis. And understanding just basic particle motion in NT coordinates or particle motion about on a circular path, we found that the normal component of acceleration is 50 feet per second squared. We are now left with two equations and two unknowns, those two unknowns being this AAT in alpha BA, or the angular acceleration alpha BA, and now we're ready to plug and chug. Okay, so let's plug and chug some numbers here. Uh, let's see. Let's plug some numbers. So we got here for the, so for the I hat equation, if you will, or in the horizontal direction, we have, let's see, 50 feet per second squared is equal to AB, which was three feet per second squared, plus omega AB, which was five radians per second, quantity squared, RAB was two feet, times cosine of 30, which is the square root of three over two, minus alpha BA, times two feet, times one half, aha. Okay, and so I have one equation, one unknown here, and therefore if I plug and chug and do, 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 alpha BA is equal to negative 3.70 radians per second squared. And I will tell you what that means for AB. Um, why do I keep doing that? Anyway, it's the same thing. I, a, B, B, A, whatever. Alpha AB right here. Okay. Uh, that is one unknown right here. We'll, we'll talk about the negative in a little bit. And then in the J hat direction or in upwards, although some of the whatever in the vertical or just the vertical components here. Okay, so I have this negative A A T is equal to zero. So I'm not going to write the zero. Negative five radians per second quantity squared times two feet times the sine of 30, which is one half minus alpha BA, which is minus 3.70 radians per second squared times two feet. So negative minus, or so minus minus 3.7, which will make it a positive, but here two feet. And then the sine of 60, which is square root of three over two right here. And that, it makes AAT, when I plug and chug and do the numbers, you can check. Check for me. Why not? I ain't perfect. This is 18.59 feet per second squared. And the answer is positive. Okay. So here, this numerical value is positive, which means when I go back all the way up to, let's go all the way back to this drawing right here. I found AAT to be positive. That means this direction is correct. And then I found alpha BA to be negative, which means that alpha BA should actually be going the other way. Okay, so I had drawn it, I had assumed it to be counterclockwise, and really it's going clockwise. So when I draw this out here, or I'm sorry, draw, when I write this out in vector form, this is actually alpha AB is 3.70 radians per second squared in this direction okay clockwise and that's what that means here and then here aat the vector is equal to 18.59 feet per second squared downwards so direction and magnitude provided in the result here all right and now the last part of this problem was kind of really figuring out the the direction of the total acceleration of a Okay, so we wanted to find AA and, uh, and get both direction and magnitude, okay? Magnitude, right here, right here, and then, you know, anyway. So here, direction and magnitude. So here it's easy. AA is the magnitude of AA is the square root of AA 
n squared plus a a t squared and that is you know 50 squared plus 18.59 squared square root comes out to 53.34 feet per second squared and we, we also want is the direction okay so the direction so if this is point a what am I doing okay if this is point a this is point a I have a, uh, a normal co a tangential component that's down here that's going at about 18.59 that is 18.5. So this is A A T, this component. That's the that's the tangential component. And then I have the normal component A A N here. And what I what if I use my vector algebra right here. And I've got this vector right here. And this is vector A A. I want to know what is this theta A? Relative to a horizontal, or I can do it relative to the vertical too, whatever. Okay, so I, I, either way, uh, theta a, this right here, theta a is just, oops, oops, we're going to use the tangent function. Ah, oh, I don't know what that was. So, theta a, oh, theta a is equal to the tangent inverse of the opposite, which is this distance right here, which is a a t, a a t divided by a a n opposite over the adjacent and that is tan inverse of 18.59 divided by 50 I'll forego the units just because the units cancel out and this is make sure you have a calculator in degree mode 20.4 degrees Ching! and so finally when I write this out a a this is in 53.34 feet per second squared in a direction relative to the horizontal right here of 20.4 degrees and that is the answer with numbers so don't walk on gr glass to this problem see ya